The Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli finds himself on a bit of a shaky wicket. He's facing a rebellion from within his own party members and his fate now depends on a standing committee meeting of the ruling Nepali Communist Party. But that 45-member standing committee meeting has now been postponed. It will take place on the 6th of July. The meeting was supposed to take place earlier at about 11 o'clock this morning. And according to reports, K.P. Sharma Oli and his long-time rival, Prachanda, who interestingly was for the last two years a part of his government, were scheduled to have a separate meeting before the standing committee was to convene. However, Vyond from its sources has learned that Prachanda did not reach the Prime Minister's residence for the meeting. In fact, he refused to meet with the Prime Minister. Now, Oli is the chairperson of the Nepali Communist Party, but he's finding himself at odds with his equal in designation and equal in standing, Pushpa Kumar Dahal Prachanda. Now, according to sources, the Nepalese Prime Minister has even threatened to split the party. Several other party leaders, including the likes of NCP Vice Chairman Dev Gautam, have also revolted against KP Sharma Oli. The calls for Oli's resignation have started to come up with much more frequency. The party leaders have said that Oli has failed to properly run the government. The immediate point of contention are the recent anti-India remarks that KP Sharma Oli put forth, where he alleged that New Delhi was conspiring with his rivals to topple his government. Now, several leaders have said that Oli's strong remarks against India were neither politically correct nor were they diplomatically appropriate. Now, the opposition, on the other hand, has targeted Oli, saying that he has acted unilaterally on matters of national interest. Now, the Parliament of Nepal has now been prorogued for the rest of the budget session. Talk in political circles is that the Parliament was prorogued only to evade a trust vote. Now, sources say that Prime Minister Oli is also planning to bring about an ordinance in a bid to try and save his chair. Now, all these big developments have taken place in a span of less than a fortnight since K.P. Sharma Oli was able to successfully whip up jingoistic feelings in his nation and was able to push through a constitutional amendment by redrawing the map of Nepal. With this, he was able to appropriate what were Indian territories of Kalapani, Lipu Lake and Limpia Dhura and he incorporated these territories as Nepalese territories by changing the map. A root shock, however, has now come his way. Co-chair Prachanda has announced that he indeed is now seeking to unseat Oli. The former force, Oli and Prachanda, had come together in the year 2018 to form what was described as a unity government. Initially, they had agreed to share the post of the Prime Minister by turns. However, differences have now emerged and things seem to be going downhill for Prime Minister Oli. And also, Vyond's Siddhan Civil has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Relief for Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, but just only for two days, the standing committee meeting of the ruling Nepal Communist Party has been postponed. For two days, the meeting will now take place on Monday. But it has been a week of fast-paced developments in Kathmandu with growing clamor for the Nepali Prime Minister to resign. We know that the Nepal Communist Party is a combination of two parties, one led by the, uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Nepal, another by the former leader of Nepal, uh, Prachanda, who is now the co-chair of the Nepal Communist Party. And uh, we know in the past that Nepal Prime Minister has been using anti-India card, the nationalism card, especially by bringing the new Nepali map that shows the Indian territories as Nepali territories, but no longer that can hold water, given the fact that uh, now there is increased criticism not only within the party, but also within the country as well. In fact, when the Nepali Parliament was passing uh, the map law, the protests were taking place outside uh, the Parliament. Uh, and now, of course, uh, uh, the focus is what next for the Nepali political leadership.